Hello and welcome to the cycle modification video. I wanted a fresh look on my mudguard but not at the cost of cutting the stock one. So I kept the stock ones as it is. So I bought two new mudguards at a cost of around 100 rupees. I cut them as per my size requirement and then I roughened it up with uh, sandpaper 80 grit before I apply my primer and this is how it would look after applying your primer. I roughened it up again with uh, 320 and then 1000 grit and then I started spray painting. So I used a red and white primer by hand before spray painting my color. And if you have dents you can always use putty before you start your primer paints. The paint turned out to be very nice and this is how it looks. But then I realized this is a very common color. Here starts my trial too. Cherry red color or Honda red. Turned out pretty good. But then I realized that this was turning out to be very bold. So I waited for it to dry up and then I decided no this is not what I wanted I decided to rub it again went back to sand it again with 1000 grit then I got the color that I wanted So I did 3 coats with a wait of 15 minutes after every coat. After your first coat there would be some base coat which would be visible or a primer coat which would be visible. But don't worry about it, that would fade off in your second and third coat. So this is how the color turned up after three coats without the clear coat. I have done two or three coats of clear coat. I waited for around 35 minutes after my third coat and then I start my clear coat. And this is how exactly you could turn up after your second clear coat. You can try the third clear coat as well if you wish to. I purchased my bar tip from Amazon. And you can buy it from any local shop if you wish to. But then I got it for the pretty cheap price. There are a lot of aftermarket brake levers that you can install. But I wanted to take the advantage that you get in the dual brake levers that comes in stock. 
So I started with positioning my brake wires with insulation tape before the wrap just to get a neat appearance out of it. And then I started wrapping my handlebar tape starting from the bottom and ending at the top of the handle. So this is how the cycle looks after installation of the mudguard. I installed it myself but then you can always take help of local cycle shop if you are not comfortable. Well that's pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe and do press the like button if you like this video so that you can get updates and posts on my upcoming videos on modifications.